All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Real Madrid Hub. I'm your host, Dr. Jota, and today I will be talking about Vinicius Jr. And the reason is because, as you probably watched last night during the game against Atalanta, Vinicius Jr. once again failed. I mean, he literally screwed it two different and two super clear chances to score against Atalanta. And that was crucial because it's not the same that you win 0-1 than if you win 0-2 or 0-3. And he had two chances, super clear chances to score. But once again, he failed. So the question is right now, the debate is right now, the debate out there, I mean, a lot of people out there are thinking, okay, should we keep this guy in the starting 11? Should Zinedine Zidane keep using him in the starting 11? Actually, let's go farther than that. Should we keep to Vinicius Jr. in Real Madrid? I don't know, man. I'm not sure about that. I mean, it's pretty sad for me, though, because if you think about it, this guy is the only different player with different abilities and skills that Real Madrid has right now. I mean, when it comes to dribbling, speed, power, and all the stuff, creativity, he's a very good player. He's one of the best, actually. But the problem is, in the last meters, when he's right in front of the goal, right in front of the goalkeeper, he fails over and over and over again. And the big difference between a good forwarder or a good attacker or striker and a bad attacker or striker is that you fail or never fail. Like for example, Erling Haaland, he never fails in front of the goalie. When he's right in front of the goalie, he scores. He never fails. And that is the big difference with Vinicius Jr. And so the debate is, should we keep him wasting our time with Vinicius Jr. in the starting 11? I mean, yeah, right now, don't get me wrong, right now the only reason why I think Vinicius Jr. is still in the starting 11 is because Carvajal is injured and we have to use to Lucas Vasquez in the uh, right back and then to Marco Asensio in the right wing and then Vinicius Jr. in the right left. Sorry, in, in, the, in, the, in the left wing. That is the only reason. Other than that, he would be in the bench. I'm pretty sure of that. So the reason is, it's pretty sad, but we have to be objective. We have to try to figure the best thing for Real Madrid. From a Real Madrid perspective, not from Vinicius' perspective, he's probably one of the uh, toughest guys. He's, you know, super badass, working so hard, uh, working his bad off in order to improve a lot of different skills and abilities and when it comes to scoring and all the stuff, but he fails over and over again. So now let me know your thoughts about that. Just comment in the section below. And of course, subscribe to this channel, Real Madrid Hub.